Tonight, the Iron County Sheriff is defending his decision to refuse enforcing the governor's mask mandate. He says the mandate isn't just unconstitutional, but he blames it for an increase in crime, suicide, and unintended deaths. News Specialist Debbie Worthen is live tonight. And Debbie, you spoke with the sheriff. What do you have to say? Well, he did not want to go on camera, and he said that he's just ready for this issue to die, and this is an issue between him and his county. And while he has plenty of support on Facebook, there are a few people who are very unhappy with his stand. Iron County Sheriff Kenneth Carpenter wants to set the record straight on why he won't enforce a mask mandate. In a statement released on Facebook, the sheriff says masks are responsible for an increase in calls of domestic violence, homicides, and a rise in suicides in Iron County. As you scroll through comments on the sheriff's statement, you find Jillian Seymour. It just makes me feel like Iron County has been very selfish. She's taking her own stand. Do I believe that because people have to wear masks, they're killing people? Do I believe that because people have to wear masks, um, they're more suicidal? I, I don't believe that. And what she wants is for county leaders to set a better example. Through this whole thing, I felt like they just kind of felt like they were above everybody. Let's tell people it doesn't matter if they wear a mask or not. The sheriff says the mandates violate constitutional rights and goes on to say there need to be solutions to not only the spread of COVID-19, but to the mental health and well-being of his community. And he believes part of the solution is to end mask mandates. Seymour sees things differently. I still think we're at the start of this. While the sheriff believes the mask mandate should be lifted, he also urges the people in his county to lift the burdens from friends and neighbors and show consideration to those concerned about coronavirus. He closes his letter saying, the sheriff's office cares about those living in Iron County and appreciates the risk healthcare professionals are taking in treating those adversely affected by COVID-19. It's really not people trying to force you to do anything you don't want to do. It's just a matter of, you know, respect for people. Well, we know the pandemic has been hard on Utahns, and if you or someone you know is seeking emotional help, you can call the Intermountain Healthcare Relief Hotline. That number is 833-442-2211. That is a free service available seven days a week. Dave? Debbie Worthen live for us tonight with a mask mandate remains a hot topic. Debbie, thanks.